If you'd like to access your office or home PC remotely from a phone, tablet, or another PC, don't worry. Chrome Remote Desktop by Google is an excellent tool for you to access your computer from anywhere. Whether you need to retrieve the files, work remotely, or provide tech support to a friend. First, ensure you have a Gmail address and preferably the Google Chrome browser installed on that computer which you want to connect to. Please note, this will also work on Microsoft Edge. Once connected to your device, you will have full control. You can upload and download the files from that device. Here is how to set it up. Now, first sign in with your Gmail account on the computer you want to access remotely. Open the Google Chrome browser and search for Chrome Remote Desktop. Select the option for remote access. You will find the blue download button under the Set up remote access section. Click on it. A file will be downloaded and a new window will open where you will see Add to Chrome. Click to download file and install it. Once the installation is complete, a new icon will appear in your extensions bar. Next, click on the newly added Chrome Remote Desktop icon and select Enable Remote Connections. After that, give the computer a name. For example, I am typing My Office PC. You can choose your own name. Then click Next. Here, you will need to set up a PIN. Enter a six-digit PIN and click Next at the Start button to connect now all set on this computer and ready to be connected. And you can easily access data and transfer files. Now on the other computer, simply log in to your Gmail account and go to the same website address. As before, Chrome Remote Desktop. Once you will there, you will see your desktop or laptop names. In my case, it is My Office PC. Click on it and enter the PIN which you have set on the remote computer. You can also check the box to remember your PIN for future use. Then click Enter. Now you are connected to, and you have full access to the other computer's screen, as well as the ability to access data and transfer files. On the right side, you can find more options. You can pin the settings for future use, disconnect, or end your session. You can also shift into full screen mode. You have several session options, such as scaling to fit or resizing to fit. Additionally, you can adjust the video codec with options like VP8, VP9, and AVI, which offer different trade-offs between quality and bandwidth. You can set whether system keys like Control alt delete launch on the remote PC or the current one you're using. You can also adjust various key mappings. The best part is that you can easily transfer the files between your computer and the remote PC. You can upload or download the files to your remote PC and configure other settings. Back on the Chrome Remote Desktop site, you will find another option. Remote Support. If you want someone else to connect to your PC, click the Generate Code button to create a code that you can share with someone. You can also connect to someone else's computer after receiving their access code. Type the access code and click Connect. Once permission is granted, you can connect to the computer. If you want to access remote computer from cell phone or tablet, you will need to ensure that you have signed up to your Gmail account and search for Chrome Remote Desktop app and install it. That's how easy it is to remotely access another computer. For more videos like this one, consider subscribing.